From power stations to PCs, we are increasingly dependent on the nation's cyber security expertise to keep the nation running smoothly. And that means keeping one step ahead of sophisticated hackers and criminals. The Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, or EPSRC, is at the forefront of research into protecting our vital infrastructure, as Robin Ross reports. The world is connected more than ever, transforming lives and industry, but with it comes danger. Infrastructure is the backbone of the UK, from our power stations to our airports. It keeps the country running. But all this data and all this connectivity also makes us vulnerable to cyber attacks. And as more businesses use algorithms for the control systems, so the threat grows. Well, the worst that can happen is probably exemplified by uh, recent attacks that we saw uh, in the Ukraine, where basically power companies were attacked and the end result was that a uh, quarter of a million consumers actually lost power for a period of time. Uh, so that's, that's the end game in attacks on control systems. Imperial College is working with industry to solve global problems. It receives funding from the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. It brings together academia and industry to make business networks secure. What we're doing at the moment is trying to crystallise with them what their long, longer term priorities are and what they'd really like from the academic community uh, so that we can stimulate that work within the academic community. Imperial is an academic centre of excellence in cyber security research. It's one of 14 established by EPSRC. Lancaster University is another. We have gone out and studied how uh, security problems arise in the real world and what practitioners face on a regular basis. But we also, within our lab, we run uh, our own water treatment facility, which uh, actually uh, emulates what exists in the real world. And we've also uh, developed new ways of uh, detecting attacks that might be launched against this kind of infrastructure. Cyber attacks are a tier one threat alongside terrorism, war and natural disasters. The aim is to stay one step ahead of the hackers and attackers. We work with Hewlett Packard Enterprise, uh, BT, also Talis. Uh, so they cover a wide range of sectors. It's not just the defence sector that has to care about these things. It is uh, pervasive across industry. A £9.8 million grant from EPSRC in partnership with the Department of Culture, Media and Sport helped to create a unique research programme, the Petrus Internet of Things Research Hub. Nine universities are analysing the potential social, economic and security implications of the world being digitally connected, bringing together social and technical scientists. We need to look at all the inputs, if you like, the transmission channels, uh, the analytical channels, which includes big data and analytics in the cloud and so on, and the way people then use the data. And in that system, I'd include people as well as, uh, as technical things. So actually, it's a, a human machine system. A recent special summit saw world leaders in cyber security gather in Belfast. The UK is recognised as one of the top three countries for international excellence in cyber security research. EPSRC helps Queen's University turn ideas into reality. EPSRC also helped to fund the CSIT Innovation and Knowledge Centre along with Innovate UK. And that's sort of really interesting and it allows Obviously our focus then is on not only on high quality research, but also on the commercialisation of, of that research. Queen's University also supports high tech spin out companies. One startup has successfully licensed intellectual property, inspecting data at high speed for potential threats. EPSRC has provided the baseline funding for the core research. It basically set the foundation that this technology could be developed, but also turned into an IP. When we started this in about 2008, there was really no cyber kind of activity around this area. Uh, there's since been about 1,200 new jobs created, uh, a mixture of startup companies, growth and indigenous companies, foreign direct investment, and we reckon that that's generating £60 million a year in salaries alone for the uh, local economy. Keeping the UK safe in cyberspace is a priority and a passion. As a researcher, it's actually very, very rewarding to see that your work can, uh, can, can really have, in its small way, uh, uh, change the world a little bit.